a little spice I need. Hey guys, good to great cigars here. Wanted to bring you a quick review of a cigar that's just starting to hit the shelves here, at least in uh, in San Antonio, Texas, at our local club humidor that we like to smoke at. Today we're bringing you the Eastern Standard by Robert Caldwell, Caldwell Cigars. This cigar is getting a lot of buzz right now for those of you that are active online and you know reading the different blogs. But um, I must say the actual quality of this cigar backs up everything that you might see online. You can see I, um, I'm already about to the halfway mark on my cigar. But my buddy here just lit his up. And this is this actually the second Eastern Standard that I've smoked. I've already smoked one of these before, not today. So this is both of our. This is our first cigar of the day. Okay, it's uh, early afternoon. We're sipping on some good old coffee, which is going to help keep our palates neutralized and not, uh, you know, mix in any kind of awkward flavors that could uh, throw off the actual taste of the cigar. So those of you that aren't as familiar with Robert Caldwell, and I've never met Robert Caldwell, but I've seen some of the some of the reviews that or interviews that he's done online. And really the way I got introduced to the cigar was just watching one of his interviews. He seemed like he was a real down to earth guy. He knows his he knows his stuff when it comes to cigars. And the thing that turned me on to him the most was quality, right? Because whenever you're looking for cigars, you want quality. You want something that has flavor. You want something that you know that the manufacturers took time to choose the tobaccos and make the blend. And I kind of noticed that about, about Caldwell cigars. So the Eastern Standard is what we're smoking here. I must say also there's some pretty cool artwork that uh, the company has. So this is the Eastern Standard. Uh, along the premium lines for Robert Caldwell, there's uh, the Eastern Standard, the King is Dead, and then also Long Live the King. And we also picked up a couple of the Long Live the King Lanceros. We're real excited about getting to uh, smoke these as well. I'm not going to smoke mine today. But we'll get around to smoking it and give you a review. But um, this cigar, the one that we're smoking, is the Eastern Standard. It's the Euro Express size, the Dark Connecticut. It's a 44 ring gauge by 5.5 inches. Okay. This cigar retails for about $11. And when I first picked it up, or when I first saw it in my shop, I was a little surprised because it's a 44 ring gauge, right? I mean, a lot of the cigars that we smoke are in the 50s for their ring gauges. So it looks like it's a little bit smaller cigar when you get to it. So don't, don't be shocked when you find it in the box and see that, uh, at least here in San Antonio, the one that they carry is a 44 ring gauge, but it's a delicious cigar. As far as the, the makeup, uh, the wrapper is a Connecticut hybrid, hybrid, um, and the wrapper is the uh, Dominican Habano, and then the fillers are made up with a couple different types of tobaccos from the Dominican uh, Republic. So you've got some uh, Criollo, Criollo, Criollo. I'll put it in the in the review because I can't pronounce it right now. Criollo, Criollo, ninety eight viso, um, and thirty percent of that Corojo Vigel, thirty percent, and then a Habano Seco, Nicara Nicara Nicaraguan, forty percent. But it's pretty cool if you go to if you go to the Robert Caldwell site, 
he breaks it all down. And, and a lot of these are aged tobaccos. So uh, you've got some from 2008, 2006, and 2007, uh, and even 2005. So these have been aged for a while. Very good, though. Mm -hmm. And going back to what he was talking about with the 44 ring gauge, I'm not hating that. It's a it's, it's a good size. You're getting a lot more wrapper, so you're, obviously you're getting a lot more flavor. Uh, I'm really looking forward into smoking the Lancero because, of course, you know, you're going to get a lot more flavors than that. Uh, but for this being a starter cigar for my first one of the day and actually my first one ever, it's very good. It definitely has a nice hint of spice at the very end of it when you're uh, letting all the smoke out. And then plus you get a little bit of nuttiness. And I don't know. Like uh, I think when I first lit it, it was maybe like a hint of honey in there. I don't know. It was really sweet. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree with that. It, there's – um, I think tobaccos from – the Dominican Republic anyways, compared to uh, Nicaraguan tobaccos, your Dominicans are a little bit smoother. Um, and this was a good crop that, that um, they got to make this cigar. It, it's definitely a sweeter. It's very, um, as far as the, the, the body of it, I would say it's, a, I guess you can say mild to medium, um, probably a little bit closer to the medium, medium side. side yeah. Definitely. Uh, you definitely have to retro this to get the full power of it and to really uh, appreciate the flavors of it. Uh, at least that's my opinion. Uh, you know, everybody's different. Everybody smokes their own way. But as far as me, I definitely like doing the retro to get that full, robust flavor that it can truly give you. But uh, I like it. Definitely uh, one of the ones I would most likely be picking up. It's pretty affordable. I mean, most of the stuff that I usually pick up is in the $10 range anyway. Uh, but it's not a bad smoke. It's definitely very good and well-rounded, I mean, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Some people might think it's a little bit pricey because it's $11. For this cigar, it's a little bit smaller than some of the other ones that you might get that are a little bit bigger ring gauge, but definitely try it out. You know, it's definitely worth uh, giving it a shot. Again, with cigars, everyone's palate's different, right? So some people might love it, some people might hate it, but um, in general, it's a very good smoke. I'm going to add this one to my rotation. You know, nowadays I, I've been smoking a lot of different cigars, but... This would be one that I know I'll be able to count on. And as far as the supply goes, I don't know how, how long they're going to be around. So it'll probably be worthwhile to pick one up and, and keep it, you know, at home also. But um, like we were saying, in order to really get all the flavors, you definitely have to retro, retro hail this. Um, you taste a lot of the, that nuttiness and that smoothness and a little bit of a honey. You know, almost like a little bit of a graham crackery um, type of type of uh, flavor notes. I wouldn't say it's very woody either. It's it's not it's not on the woody side at all. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I think Man. I think you hit it right on the head with the graham cracker. Uh, type of taste in there. And you really hit that. I mean, every time you retro and you blow, you know, blow the smoke through your nose, you just have this, this nice note. It's, yeah. And, and that's one of the things that I think separates the cigars because you have kind of a baseline of cigars where they all taste like a cigar. When you, you know, exhale through your mouth, when you exhale through your nose, you have that baseline. But then you have this next level of cigars where when you retro, there's this, this nice note, distinctive note that you can taste in your nose. And that separates them because not, not every cigar produces that type of uh, flavor note, you know, when you exhale. 
And this is one of those cigars that's in that next category. It definitely separates itself from the others, I believe so. Uh, for it being a Dominican blend, I mean, it's it's really good. I mean, it's it's really up to par. It, it's definitely representing uh, what he's trying to do, and uh, I think he's doing a good job with it. Uh, but going back to the artwork of, you know, the band itself is really nice. Oh, I'm over here. And uh, and what my buddy Boris was saying is that he's trying to make a story with his cigars. It's one of those type of things that it's meant for the first starter, then the second, and then the third. And it also has the names to, to, uh, to put a story on that. So I think it's kind of cool. Yeah. Very interesting concept, and, you know, in watching some of the interviews with, you know, Caldwell Cigars, there's a story behind the cigars, and also, it's I like how, number one, I love the website, Caldwell Cigars website, because it breaks down what's inside of the cigar, very easy to understand, um, and then as far as the strength levels, and again, we're looking at uh, the Caldwell line, which is kind of his, his premium line, Eastern Standard, you know, which is kind of like your, your mild to medium. Then the next strength level would be uh, the King is Dead. And then the next one that's the strongest in that line would be Long Live the King. And going back to the artwork, it's it's very cool. You know, it's kind of old school looking, but um, very classy looking. And most importantly, though, because artwork is just artwork, the cigar speaks for itself as far as flavor is concerned. You know, and, and one of the things that I've noticed is they do kind of have like a grassroots type of bringing. You don't really see a whole bunch of advertisements. But people, people love the cigars, though. Also, I will say we've been talking about retro hailing. And on this one, there's no burn with the retro hail. So that's a great thing when you can actually retro hail the cigar and it doesn't burn your sinuses. It, it really leaves a beautiful note there, and I can't express that enough because it's there, and it really makes you appreciate what the blend in the cigar is doing for just the line itself, and it's damn good, you know? All right. For this being my first one, I like it a lot. I really do like it a lot. It's something that I could see myself picking up and holding in my humidor, my personal humidor. So that says a lot because I can be a brutal critic when it comes to cigars, and this one is actually really good. <laughs> you know, but that's just me. Mm -hmm. I think anybody can like this cigar, whether you like full bodied smokes or if you like. I can actually see my fiance smoking this. Mild to medium smokes. I think everybody can appreciate this. And it's going real good with this coffee. Mm hmm Very good for the early morning. It's really good. So. We're going to go ahead and wrap this up. You can read the rest of the review on goodtograatcigars.com. Thanks for tuning in. And there will be more to come. Again, this is the Eastern Standard by Caldwell Cigars.